What is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I have for you Zom 100 Episode 2. This episode we saw not too much. Last episode was crazier than this one. And it was a good episode for, for this anime. And basically what we saw last episode was just the zombies pulling up and Akira becoming more confident and him going to, uh, to his room or something like that. And we see him in, this, in his room in this episode, his apartment, and he's basically having this dream about work. And he wakes up from this dream. He's like, yo, ah, man, I can't wait to go back to work. Today's the day I go back to work. He starts drinking his beer. While all this is happening, a bunch of zombies are out and about outside. And he's still saying, yo, he can't wait to go to, for work and all that. I was kind of confused whether, you know, what was going on during those three years. Because he said, you know, oh, after that three-year vacation, I'm ready to go back to work. So what was he doing for three years? He said he went on vacation. What was he doing? There was a zombie apocalypse, so you couldn't really go anywhere. So what were you doing in, in your house? You know, you're having, like, you were just sleeping that whole time? Like, I don't get it, bro. Because he woke up from his dream. Like, there's no way he was asleep for three years. So I don't know, man. Maybe he was just drunk the whole time. Because he go, does go on a beer run. He does actually go on a beer run to get some more beer. Before he does that, he... Uh, he runs into his neighbors, meets them, says hello to them, asks if they want anything because he told them he's going to go for a beer run and, and get some things from the convenience store. And once he's there, he meets this woman. And uh, we don't really get her name, but we see that she's she looks like she, the only survivor that we've seen so far, right? And, and he just, you know, he's cool. He's happy to see another survivor, right? And he's trying to get to her attention, but she kind of ignores him. And we don't really understand why she ignores him until we get, like, you know, her perspective, which is what we get in this episode. And so after Bro goes on his beer run, he sees that his neighbors that he just met died and was murdered, probably by a bunch of those zombies. I don't really know how they ended up actually killing them. We didn't see, but imagine those zombies climbing up, like, I don't even know, like five flight of stairs or whatever, just to kill those people and just dip because those zombies didn't attack any other people. So I, 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 we don't know why those people got attacked. We don't know. And I think that might be important to understand what's going on here, bro. But anyways, it just, it just I mean, really, it, it, now I'm really thinking about it, it doesn't matter because everybody's zombies and we get to see that the, even the... Akira is thinking like he, he starts to write his goals down. He says a hundred things he he wants to do before he turns into a zombie. So that's what I mean. It's like I guess technically everybody just ends up turning into a zombie. It doesn't matter why what's going on here. Everybody's gonna be a zombie. And so when Akira's writing down his goals, he's like, "Damn, I gotta get some dreadlocks, bro. You, you might not be able to." Uh, it's just not possible for, for you, you know, unless you, you're you mixed with a certain race, bro. I don't know. But he, but it might be possible for you to do the other things. Like, I think one of the other things he wanted to do was um, uh, meet the woman at the that that he, that he met at the gas station uh, or the convenience store, whatever you want to call it, because she ends up leaving. And and then uh, we see her perspective. Right. And so. She, she lives in a nice ass, you know, I want to call it like a, a Airbnb, but it's more like an apartment, but bigger than that. And she basically is just working out. We see her uh, just putting in some reps or whatever. And then the, the vitamins and supplements that she takes, you know, those, those, those things are some of the things I take to like when I work out. And so it was interesting seeing that and stuff that she looks up to is like, she wants to be as healthy as possible. That's why she works out and takes those supplements so those so she can be in the best shape possible to fight zombies. I thought that was pretty cool that we saw like her her reasoning on doing things and her perspective. We even see like her thought process because we get to look what goes on in her head at the gas station. Instead of seeing Akira, the main character's perspective, we get to see her perspective in the convenience store 
and she's saying all these things, like planning things out about the zombies, and then he, she sees Akira walk in, sizes him up, and says, okay, this guy's kind of looks like he's harmless and whatnot. He probably doesn't understand how crazy or how serious this is. This apocalypse is, and and so she really just does some great deductive reasoning there, which I kind of have to applaud to her. And then also that she she also saves Akira's life because Akira was kind of just you know just lollygagging, not really paying attention, and then a bunch of zombies pull up, and he wants to try to save the day. Without really, we don't really know how he ended up surviving. Did he kill a bunch of zombies? I think he did at the end of the first episode, but we don't really know how good of a zombie slayer he is compared to this chick. So she saves his life because she senses that there's a truck coming, and then a truck starts to appear and crashes into the convenience store. And she grabs him and then drops into the ground like RKO in type style, and. When I first saw the first time it happened, I thought she sh just broke the building and made an earthquake and everything, the whole building collapsed. But it really was the car that crashed into the convenience store that caused all that damage. And so that was confusing. Um, I mean, that was cool to see that I was wrong about that, you know? But yeah, yes, yeah, this girl's a beast. You know, she's definitely gonna be the one to show Akira the ropes and how to survive another day here. And yeah, I can't wait to see how this goes, guys. So anyway, let me know what y'all thought about this episode. And this has been a TV and movie podcast. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bless up and peace.